very warm greetings to one and all watching this video in this video i am planning to focus on stereochemistry the fundamental aspects of stereochemistry in my previous video i had a discussion on aromaticity photochemistry polar effects and multiple choice aspects of aromaticity and polar effects now we will go to this video on stereochemistry what is stereochemistry means stereos means three dimensional way of arrangements so as a simply point out that stereochemistry is the study of how molecules are affected by the way of their atoms are arranged in the space that is the arrangements of atoms or molecules in a space simply the study of relative spatial arrangements of atom in a molecule so as a part of this definition i am repeating here the branch of chemistry concerned with the three dimensional arrangements of atoms or molecules and their effect on chemical reactions are said to be stereochemistry well while looking to this image in either the directions so while looking to this one side we can view duck whereas in other side we can view bunny so what the surprise things that at a first glance that we are able to see that whereas in the other side we are able to see in other type of image so which we which can focus that are uh, creating an idea about our knowledge about the stereochemistry so because the arrangements of atoms or molecules which may focus towards the uh, stereochemistry so so based on this uh, image the arrangements of the atoms or molecules can design the entire properties of chemical compound now we will see the terms involved in the stereochemistry so isomers and isomerism optical isomers geometrical isomers enantiomers diastereomers chiral compounds achiral compounds prochiral compounds racemic mixture or dl mixture and resolution so in this video i have a plan up to enantiomers that we are going to discuss here in another video uh, we can able to see the other aspects of our terms now what is the isomers so isomer means the compound with the same molecular formula but different structural formula so it means that a compound may have a same empirical formula like for example uh, we can view that c2h6o i have given you an example here which can be either ethyl alcohol or dimethyl ether so i am simply pointing that one of the several entities having same molecular formula but different structural formula hence based on this uh, thing one can find a potentially different physical and chemical properties of a compound so based on that such a differs in physical and chemical properties of a compound are called stereo isomers now we'll see what is isomerism isomerism is the phenomena in which one or more than one compound having a same chemical formula but different chemical structures so uh, the isomerism is classified into two category one is structural isomerism and stereo isomerism structural isomerism is further classified as chain isomerism positional isomerism functional isomerism metamerism tautomerism and ring chain isomerism and stereo isomerism is classified as geometrical isomerism and optical isomerism so in the pictorial aspects the same point what we have discussed in the last slide is repeating here uh, isomerism is classified as a structural or constitutional isomerism and stereo isomerism and this uh, structural isomerism is further classified as chain or skeletal or nuclear isomerism 
positional isomerism, functional isomerism, metamerism, tautomerism and ring chain isomerism. Whereas in the case of our uh, stereoisomerism is classified as a configurational stereoisomers isomerism and conformational stereoisomerism. The configurational stereoisomerism is further classified as geometrical isomers, isomers and optical isomers. Whereas in the case of our conformational stereoisomerism is classified as a rotational isomerism and imine inversion. Now we will see about the stereoisomerism. Isomers already we have pointed out that which is having a same molecular formula or it may have a structural formula but differ in the manner of the atoms or groups are arranged in the space. So such isomers are called as an stereoisomers. So I am repeating here the molecule the isomers having a same molecular formula same structural formula but differ in the manner of their atoms or groups are arranged. So which is called as a simply stereoisomers. So this stereoisomers is classified as a configurational and conformational isomers. So configurational isomers is nothing but the isomers which cannot be interconverted unless otherwise a covalent bond is broken. So such a iso stereoisomers are called as a configurational isomers. So these isomers can be separated under normal conditions. So the configurational isomers is again classified as a another categories like our optical isomers, optical isomerism or which is otherwise called as an enantiomerism. So here we are discussing about uh, optical isomers or enantiomers followed by a geometrical isomers. Now we will have a discussion about what is our optical isomerism or enantiomerism. The stereoisomer which is having a non superimposable mirror images which is simply called as an optical isomers or enantiomers. So enantio means in Greek it is opposite. So I am repeating here the stereoisomers here which is having a certain relationship with the object and there is a mirror image is ob obtained and those mirror images are non superimposable mirror images one over the other these images are non superimposable in nature so which are termed as a optical isomers or enantiomers and what are the uh, uh, properties is there in the case of our optical isomers or enantiomers so uh, the optical isomers or enantiomers can rotate the plane polarized light into equal degree but opposite in direction. So that if you have the two set of compounds in the previous next slide onwards uh, we have some discussion about uh, the enantiomers. At the time we can uh, point out about how the opposite directions of the uh, two isomers with the opposite directions of having a tendency to uh, rotate the plane polarized light into opposite directions. So the property of rotating the plane polarized light is known as optical activity. So in two mark question most of the cases what is uh, optical activity in such cases uh, we can simply write that property of rotating the plane polarized light is called optical activity. The optical isomers have a similar physical and chemical property so that the enantiomers even for uh, uh, finding about the properties physical and chemical properties are almost same similar properties are observed but only in the way of their plane polarized light rotation the things is finding a opposite in directions differs so such a things are uh, called a enantiomers well, we will see the example here. The molecular formula is given. This is a lactic acid. The empirical formula of lactic acid is C3H6O3, which represents two enantiomeric forms. So, one is our uh, minus lactic acid, another one is here plus lactic acid. So, which implies that the way of the plane polarized light into the clockwise directions are said to be a plus. 
whereas in the case of uh, minus means that it goes here plane polarized light into anti clockwise directions so we have the example here lactic acid ch3choh coh which has the mirror image and we are getting the another uh, isomer here ch3 uh, ch3 choh coh so if suppose we are taking this isomer into this isomer so which finding the difference here with the way of arrangement of the atom see that h and oh if you place this over this one what will happen wherever the place the oh is there the h may come here so in such cases so which finding a difference this is called non superimposable mirror images so this compound is said to be a enantiomer now we will see the conditions or what are the things is needed for our enantiomers so enantiomers means non superimposable mirror images or otherwise it is called optical isomers for example i have mentioned you here carbon is there carbon is surrounded by four different groups of atoms or molecules either the one it may be here so for example i have mentioned you pq or s here uh, all those things is different atoms or different groups maybe we can substitute for PQRS which finds a mirror image here so as per the Louis Pasteur who has decided that molecule is crystal based on the mirror image who has coined that the enantiomers here so such enantiomers having a non superimposable mirror images so we can find this is one uh, uh, isomer this is an another isomer so both the isomers on the mirror image one over the other which is called a non superimposable mirror image so that if you place this isomer to this isomer we are finding the difference here the place wherever q here find in the mirror and wherever p is there the p goes to the different position so if one over the other it may place this one this is finding a non superimposable mirror images this is the prime condition for our enantiomers now what is the geometrical isomers so here geometrical isomers are arises due to the restricted rotation that means there is a presence of carbon carbon double bond here so which gives you a geometry for restricted rotation so because already we know that the carbon carbon double bond focus towards one over the here in different directions see that one is in above above the plane another one is below the plane so which gives you a restricted rotation so that the geometrical isomers or stereoisomers which differs in the spatial geometry why it is differs because of the restricted rotation across the carbon carbon double bond also we know that these geometrical isomers may also called as an cis trans isomers so because cis trans isomers will be existed only when we have a carbon carbon chemistry come over there see the example the molecular formula here c2h2cl2 which gives you a alkene that is uh, our uh, position called cis and trans so cis means same the placement of the our uh, chlorine chloro groups is in same direction it may be uh, below the plane it may be the above the plane wherever it may be placed here below or above which is same in the way of position which is called as an cis so here the cis 1 comma 2 dichloroethene and this is trans trans means opposite in direction so that the cl is placed opposite way uh, it may be here also uh, instead of the hydrogen it may be chlorine so that the opposite direction at the same time it may be in opposite direction so that this may give you so what i'm uh, planning to say that in the case of our trans one comma two dichloroethene the chloro groups are opposite in direction if you want to write that instead of the cl you can put h here and instead of the h you can have cl here so that that also gives you our uh, trans isomer so in the case of our geometrical isomers which is otherwise called cis trans isomers which is having a nature why this nature comes based on the restricted rotation 
now we will come back to the examples of our enantiomers so enantiomers already we pointed out that carbon is surrounded by four different groups which implies that the carbon to be a chiral one or asymmetry one so based on that the enantiomers are chiral compounds that are mirror images of one another further uh, which is having a non superimposable mirror images that's all that's why i have pointed out in the last slide also if you place this isomer over this isomer which gives you a different in nature for the structures positions that's the arrangements of atoms or molecules so that the further uh, what we are pointing out here the molecules are non superimposable with each other and uh, it means that uh, molecule cannot be placed on top of one another gives you same molecule it definitely find out the example here I have placed here opal this is a mirror if you find the opal both the sides are almost everything is same only when there is a placement of our leaves so leaves towards here this is uh, finding a difference between these two once you place this opal to this opal we can find the difference only in the placement of our leaves so which gives you the nature which is called as a non superimposable mirror images so uh, enantiomers are chiral molecules with one or more stereocenters and which is said to be a enantiomers i have mentioned you uh, different examples here in the examination point of view uh, if suppose they are asking about what is the enantiomer, we can point out the, these points like our chiral molecules, mirror images and non superimposable mirror images and it is an example for our uh, and having a more number of one or more uh, stereocenters also we can point out for the enantiomers. Further uh, some more examples that I have pointed you here the D glucose and L glucose having enantiomers and uh, we have the chloro compound here the carbon is surrounded by uh, methyl, ethyl and hydrogen and Cl which gives you a mirror image non superimposed mirror images so with this different examples for the enantiomers I uh, want to focus on that what I have planned for the uh, enantiomers that I have come across with to say about the details on the enantiomers with some examples in the even in alenes also because of the carbon carbon double bonds presence over there uh, which gives you a nature for our alene system these are all called our uh, single bond system this is one we have given you the example for our alene system for our enantiomers which is having a mirror images one over the other other okay so thanks for watching this video like it subscribe it and share it for more number of uh, videos in this uh, chemistry platform uh, thank you have a nice day